Hello students, in this session, let us solve this question of the combined bending and direct stresses. In this question, it is given that a rectangular column of width 200 mm and thickness 150 mm carries a point load of 240 kN. There is a eccentricity of 10 mm. We have to determine the maximum and minimum stresses on the section. So this is a question of combined stresses where 200 by 150 mm of cross-section area, a column is there. The load applied is 240 kN at the eccentricity of 10 mm. There is 10 mm eccentricity. We have to find the maximum and minimum stresses. You know that there will be two types of stresses, direct stresses and bending stresses. So we have to find the maximum and minimum stresses on each section of the column. Hello students, in this question, we have to find out the maximum stress and minimum stress. For this case, the combined bending and direct stresses. How it is combined and bending and direct stresses? Because the load is applied to the eccentric to the axis, right? This is the axis and at some eccentricity, we have applied the load to 40 kN. So load is applied at eccentricity. So for that, there will be two types of stresses will be developed. One is direct stresses and another is bending stresses, right? So this we have already studied that this load P applied can be converted into two parts that this P is applied and this P is applied like this as well as there is some movement like this, right? So this is P as well as M. So two types of loads are there. One is a direct load which is given by P and another is a bending moment which is P times E. So bending moment will be given by M that is equal to P E for this case, right? And there will be combined bending and torsion. I am writing here. So M will be equal to P E, right? You know that the eccentricity is applied suppose here. So there will be minimum stress there will two types of stress will be there one will be direct stress suppose compressive stress we are taking positive so this is direct stress which is uniform like this this is direct stress which is uniform sigma d which will be given by p by area right and another will be the bending stresses Will be, which will be on one side it is compressive and other side it is tensile on this side on this side because load is applied on this side it is compressive and on this side it is tensile so so bending stresses will be like this like this right and bending stresses are like this and it will be compressive on this portion and tensile on this portion like this right so these are the stresses right and the bending stresses are given by m y by i you must know the formula m y by i i about y y i about y y because it will bend to uh, about y y so i y y right so uh, total stress will be the sum of these two stresses it will be added up on this part in uh, from the axis from the axis on the right side it will be added up and uh, we will get the maximum stress at the outer periphery and in this side it will be uh, decreased and it will be minus because it is compressive it is tensile and it will be minimum at the outer fiber right so sigma max will be equal to sigma d plus sigma b right and sigma minimum will be equal to sigma d minus sigma b right and what is sigma b sigma b we can write sigma b here that is m y by i right so m is the p e y y is the maximum distance 
maximum distance of this fiber of this fiber this fiber this is 200 so this is b basically b if we say it b is e and we say it d so this is b by 2 so pe b by 2 divided by this i about y y this is db cube by 12 so this is db cube by 12 right so this is the case right so you will get from here you will get 6 pe by db square so this is the bending stress right so and direct stress is we have already written force upon area so sigma max will be sigma max that will be equal to sigma d plus sigma b so this is load upon area plus 6 pe by db square use it this formula and find the value load upon area load applies is 240 upon area in millimeter is 200 multiplied by 150 200 multiply 150 plus this is in mega pascal 6 multiplied by p p p is given as 240 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by e in mm so keep it in mm so if you keep it in mm this will be millimeter square right so keep it in millimeter so 10 divided by d d d is given 150 b square that is 200 square solve it and you will get sigma max the maximum stress at this point at this at this fiber so at this fiber you will get the maximum stress which will be the sum of which will be the sum of bending moment and direct stresses right so at this point at this axis you will get at this fiber you will get the maximum stress right and how much is the maximum stress 10.4 mega pascal 10.4 mega pascal so this is the maximum stress this is one of the answer right now sigma minimum we have to find out sigma minimum this is the direct stress minus 6 pe by db square so this will be 240 multiplied by 1000 divided by area 150 minus here it is minus because we it is tensile and this is compressive right minus 6 multiplied by 240 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 10 6 pe divided by uh, db square d is 150 b square is 200 square so we will be getting sigma minimum as sigma minimum minimum stress and that will come out to be 5.6 mega pascal 5.6 mega pascal so this is the sigma minimum so this is the answer so there are two answer one is maximum stress that is 10.4 mega pascal and another is 5.6 mega pascal which is minimum stress and minimum stress is also positive it means this is compressive stress so both are compressive this is also this is compressive this is already compressive all are compressive so this is compressive and this is also compressive because it is coming positive and for positive we have taken the uh, compressive stress right so this is also 5.6 is positive like this right so we will be getting this type of curve like this like this this type of curve is there and it is downward it means it is compressive right so this is sigma max and here it is sigma minimum so this is how this question is solved that there is the combined bending and uh, direct stresses are there so due to the eccentricity of the load direct stresses will be developed and as well as bending stresses will be developed so we have combined these things we have applied the formula that formula you should remember that m by i should be equal to sigma by y here sigma is a bending stress right this formula we have utilized to find the sigma b m y by i 
right and we have find out the uh, bending stress as well as drag stress added up they will give the maximum stress and subtracted they will give the minimum stress so at this periphery there will be maximum stress and at this fiber there will be minimum stress right